Welcome to LEGO District Hospital. How can I help you? I think there might be something wrong since you... Later, in the x-ray room. This is Ted. Ted is an intern. Say hello, Ted. Hello. He is waiting for the radiologist. Here he comes now. Bye, Ted. Okay. Let's have a look at this x-ray. Hmm. Well, the bones are in order, so we can give the surgeon the go-ahead to reattach, but it looks like we've found something else. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. We will work through it. At first glance, it could be a bone cyst, a giant cell tumour, chondroblastoma, enchondroma, chondrosarcoma, or a bone infarct. So, see if you can get it by eliminating the rest. Well, the lesion is mostly radiolucent, but that doesn't exclude anything. I can see some radio-opaque rings and arcs, so it can't be a bone cyst, as they are more homogenous in appearance. There is a thinning of the cortex as opposed to lytic destruction, which we would see with a giant cell tumour or a chondrosarcoma. And the bone infarct has more of a honeycomb appearance. So that only leaves enchondroma and chondroblastoma. Okay, well, I got the patient's history, and before it was severed, he had not had any pain or swelling in that hand. Well, a chondroblastoma would be quite painful, so it must be an enchondroma. Yes, another thing to take into account is that an enchondroma is much more common in the hand than any of the other differential diagnoses. If you still couldn't figure it out, we could get histology, and that would help us differentiate between enchondroma and chondrosarcoma. We would also get a bone scan, which would show up due to an increased metabolism on the tumour cells. I have ordered an MRI, which would rule out any cortical destruction or associated soft tissue mass, as this would suggest a malignant transformation. I had a patient come in a few years back who appeared to have an enchondroma. We decided to leave it as we believed it was benign, but he came back a few years afterwards and it turned out he had chondrosarcoma and we had to amputate his hand. Well, Jesus, I've had a look at your scan and before I get the surgeon in to explain what we're going to do, I need to tell you that we found something else. What have I got, Sinjur? It appears that you have what we call an enchondroma in your hand. What is that? An enchondroma is a benign tumour that forms in the medulla of your bone. It's made mostly of cartilage. Oh, how did I get that? Well, the exact cause is not quite known, but it seems to form from the growth plate while your bones are still growing, and instead of turning into bone like it should, it grows as nodules of cartilage. While my bone's still growing? So what does that mean? I've had this since I was a child, senor. Why haven't I noticed this before? Well, that's the thing. There are usually no signs that an enchondroma is present, barring the times when the tumour outgrows the bone and it fractures. It is usually found when we take a scan for a completely different reason. You sure were lucky you severed your hand, or we never would have found it. So what are we going to do about it? Well, I'll get the surgeon in now, and we can get your hand reattached. Then we'll get you an MRI to make sure it's nothing worse. Hello there, Jesus. I'm here to reattach your hand. There's no need to worry, Jesus. This is a uh, pain-free surgery. Okay, hold still. I feel so much better, Sinjur. Thank you. Okay, Jesus, just jump in here and we'll get this done. As you can see on this T1 weighted scan, the cartilage in your metacarpal shows an obvious black mass. This is why we like to get an MRI to diagnose an enchondroma. They show up so well and we can be sure that you don't have something else. Jesus and his surgeon are discussing his treatment options. How do we fix this? Well, we can do two things. We can simply observe it and see if it looks like it's going to cause damage, or we can do something called a curatage. This is where we basically cut into the side of your bone and scrape out the enchondroma, then we fill the space back up to help strengthen it. So which one's it going to be? Well, it's your choice. But in your case, I would recommend that we do the curatage as the tumour is taking up so much of your bone, it is more likely that you could get a pathological fracture from the weakened cortex. Even more severe is the risk of the malignant transformation. So I think I'll take surgery. Nurse, scalpel. I don't have a scalpel, but I've got the next best thing. Okay, I'll make a small incision here and scoop. Adiós, amigos.